Donna from Spots Rock and today I'm very happy because I'm here with Lizzie and Joe from Haystor. Yeah. So how are you guys today? We are doing so wonderful. We are so happy to be here in Milan and um, we've been looking forward to the show. And so it's been here since the last time we met here in Italy and are you guys pumped you are playing a brand new and a big venue here in Milan? Yeah. Yeah, this is great. We, we were looking around earlier and it just looks beautiful. So we're we're always excited to play Italy. Yeah. We're the best fans in the world. Yeah. And so you are coming back with a brand new album, uh, Into the Wild Life. So what is this wild life you are singing about and uh, is there a concept behind it? Uh, yeah. Um, We've been having a fantastic time. Um, we definitely, I mean, not not just not just on the record. I, you know, we, we definitely stepped a little bit out of our comfort zone and and into the unknown with this record. But uh, the more fun thing to talk about is, um, you know, we've we've been a band for a long time and we've had uh, you know uh, some success and we're definitely taking advantage of that and. Uh, having a lot of wild times I, and you know and I'm talking about like it could be a Tuesday night and uh, you know n n no plans to have any type of party whatever all of a sudden Josh puts on some James Brown um, all of a sudden, there's girls and and all of a sudden some of them are half naked and then somebody's <laughs> shoes get gets filled up with Bloody Mary mix to the brim and we wake up and we don't know what happened. Yeah, so those types of things there, it, have definitely happened more often. <laughs> there, there, there's something to be said for, for um, doing what you love and love what you're doing and then having some success with it and we're just having a great time doing what we love at the end of the day. And uh, you know, in a world where the term album is so obsolete and it's all about downloads and singles, you went against the grain and actually made a full, a full album start to finish and in an old-fashioned way while recording. So what made you do it the way you did it? You know, we, we're, we're just excited about, you know, we, we love playing live, we love playing together. And the, and the idea of the record was to kind of capture a little bit of our energy and our flavor of rock and roll and how we do it. And, um, you know, working with Jay Joyce, who have a new producer this time, and he, he was like a fifth member of the band. He worked, he, you know, he sat there and jammed with us. We recorded it live together. Uh, the basic tracks, there's four of us standing in a circle and, and you know, we were talking with them and we decided to, you know, some songs just worked well together and to create these bridges between them and to make an actual album, you know, and, and, and yeah. it was so much fun to do. You know, we, 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 we make albums, I think, uh, fairly selfishly anymore, whereas we just want to make something that we're proud of and, that, and, and chase after whatever gets us excited and and um, and I think we needed to shake it up this time, just just personally for us, you know, um, because the whole process should be fun. It shouldn't be work, and it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't feel like you're repeating yourself ever, because um, you know that just comes with life and and you know growing up, and we're at a point in time in our life where we're we're excited to do that, and and uh, yeah, excited to make a, a full fledged album. And so with these uh, recording process, uh, basically when one of you screwed something up, uh, you had to start all over again, right? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> or not, there are quite a few mistakes yeah. on the record. We left a lot of those mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> and so tell me, I promise I won't tell anyone, it's a secret, who was the one who made more mistakes on the album? So who do we have to blame for um, so much time? Uh, honestly, I, I feel like it was either me or my brother. I felt like it was maybe me though. Yeah, I think we all did. <laughs> oh, yeah, depending on the song, um, you know, and and that's just part of it. Even live, it, you know, every single show of ours is different because we don't, you know, we we don't use tracks and we don't no, you know, no computers, no clicks, no no trickery. So what you see is what you get. And as a rock show should be, yeah, you exactly. know, so if they're perfect and not <laughs> just like an album, I think I think you're doing the rock show wrong because people want to come and see. A live band doing a live band thing, yeah. not, you know, just listen, you can listen to the record at home, <laughs> you know. We forgive you, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and is there a song that really stood up to you when uh, recording the album? Um, there were a lot of them. Uh, each song on this record has kind of its own thing going on and its own personality. We were kind of letting each song um, have its own space and you know. I, I really dug uh, like New Modern Love and when we into the groove and we found the perfect guitar tone for it and like everything just seemed to come together with that one and especially 
you know, connecting it with your daughter and the and the bridge we yeah. created there. That transition was so much fun and so just so cool to like. It felt like, oh man, this is neat. You know, like this is this is making a record. This is it was just fun and it felt right. You know, it was just a cool moment. Yeah, I, I agree. I think even beyond the songs, um, which I, I love all of the songs, um, but the, the the transitions that we ended up putting into them, um, what I love about it is that you can hear our 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 hesitation and our because when we recorded them, that was the first time we had ever played them. We didn't think any of this stuff out, so it was like you create and then you record, and so to me, it, I, that was the magical moments for me. And you know, you have a pretty special relationship with your fans. There are a lot of fans that are waiting for you outside. And actually, there was one song on the previous record called The Rock Show, which was inspired by a fan letter. So, um, are there any other fans oriented, fans inspired songs on this new one? Um, I think there's definitely a little pieces of that on the, all over the entire record. Um, I've, especially myself, I, uh, I have a little bit of a problem. I like stalking everybody on Twitter, and uh, you know, and, and being a little bit of a pain. Um, so, uh, so a lot of the conversations that I've had over the past couple of years on the road with fans, and I, I receive beautiful letters. Um, you can't help but uh, soak a little bit of that in. So, I, I think that um, there are going to be a lot of people that hear a little bit of themselves on this record. And you know, fans look up to you a lot. So, have you ever thought, have you ever felt like um, uh, you had some kind of social responsibility as an artist? I don't know. Have you ever thought, uh, okay, they are looking up to me. I'm a, your uh, their role model. So I have to, I don't know, behave in a certain way, talk about certain topics. Um, I think if if you're going to be a role model, <laughs> I don't know. There's something to be said for kind of, and which is kind of the point of the record just doing whatever the fuck you want you know yeah. and truly <laughs> living for yourself you know and that's I think I've noticed um, uh, a more positive response uh, the more um, that I err on the side of honesty you know and and not worry so much about what everyone's going to think I think and plus I'm a terrible liar so if I was trying that's to awesome. be somebody else I know he can say horrible liar so if I was trying to be somebody else everybody would know and um, or trying to put on an air of I'm the you know I'm a role model I'm a rock star now and that's that never been a part of who I am so um, so yeah I don't know I'm just gonna keep doing my thing and hopefully I don't make too many horrible mistakes <laughs> and how do you feel when your fans tell to you um, your music changed my life your music saved me it's amazing uh, I mean, I don't know about Brussels over here, but it's just, it's something that you never think um, is going to happen, you know, and, and you think, well, you know, I make music and I, I make music for me, you know, we don't necessarily make music for anyone's approval or we're not trying to save the world, um, we're just trying to have a good time and do what we love every day, but, um, but it's just so incredibly humbling when you know that you've touched someone that deeply with with your songs, you know, and, and what you do. Um, it's just incredible. Yeah, it's crazy. Music is powerful, though. It's, it's neat. I remember there's some records from when I was a kid that was just like, change you, you know? And it's like, wow, that's, I mean, that's what it, that's what it's all about. And that's, that's cool if people feel that way about some of our music. That's crazy. I don't even know. <laughs> and in uh, your new song, Amen, there's a line that says, someone's got a hater, it's never gonna change. But have hateful comments maybe on YouTube on or negative reviews that ever hurt you to the point you thought about giving up? Oh, hell no. <laughs> That's the fuel. Yeah. Oh, if, if anything, we encourage it, you know, and, and again, everyone has a right to their opinion. Um, but what we got, we actually get excited about certain people that are so incredibly like against what we do because if um, we, we always talked about this, like when we start getting people like really passionately hating what we do, that means that we're doing something right, you know? So, um, so it's actually, we definitely take that in a I positive love, sense. Yeah, I love it. I, I like when they get creative <laughs> with their hate, you know, and like really say some descriptive and wrong things. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, but there's, you really thought, you put some thought into that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, but it's, it's never... <laughs> We've never, ever, 
um, even had the notion of, oh, because people aren't going to like what we do, or maybe this guy is, in, we've never wanted to give up because of that. That's never even... Yeah, I, I, I like what we do, so yeah. whatever. <laughs> And uh, you're about to touring, touring, and, uh, and then tour again. So what do you like so much about being on the road and being on stage? Um, everything. Yeah, absolutely everything. I, I like playing music every day, you know, and listening to music and playing it and playing guitars and having fun with guitars and, and you know, get to do it with your best friends. And like we said, we, we know how to have a really good time. We're professionals. And, uh, <laughs> We're professionals in the good times. Yeah, yeah. the good times department. The uh, president, and you know, yeah, I think you're going to be the vice president. You just decided. Okay, fine. Good times. Right. And, why, uh, am I, why am I not the president of Good Times? Because I'm president. And why do you president? <laughs> We're going to discuss this later. <laughs> but no, it's it's great, and, and then we get to travel, and we get to we get to play in Italy, man. Yeah, I mean, we've always cool. wanted to do that, and it's it's incredible that we're here and and meeting so many awesome people like yourselves. It's. It's the best. It's the best job in the world. And you are coming back to Italy again? Oh yes. Summer in August. August. So, uh, would you like to leave a message to all the Italian freaks that are waiting for you? We'll be back. Yes. <laughs> no, we can't wait, man. We're, we're, we finally get to come to Italy in the summer. We haven't been to Italy in the summer yet. So, we're really looking forward to that. And, uh, and our album will have been out for a while by the time August comes around, so we get to play a whole bunch of new songs. And yes, we're, we're, we're going to be excited. It's going to be hot. It's going to be sweaty. And uh, sticky, sticky, messy. <laughs> Any more? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we love you guys so much, and thank you so much for enabling us to be here and to uh, to play Italy. One of our dreams come true. Okay, thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, anything. thank you. Love you guys. Thank you.